Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. Today is Tuesday, November the 9th, 2010, and like we do every night, it's time to look at the market, so check it out. Okay, we got a lot of stuff to cover here today. We got a lot of different charts we're going to be going over, and I got to start off with some basic news. Um, first off, I, we have talked to you guys before about whenever markets get overbought and or oversold for and so on, just because they hit those conditions doesn't mean they automatically reverse course and go the other way. A lot of times they'll hang uh, in that uh, condition until something happens, what's known as a catalyst. You get the reason for the sell-off or the reason for the rally. Uh, and what you have this time around, we got a, a lot of news out, and that was, in fact, a catalyst to move to the downside today. And I believe that same news is important to pay attention to. If you follow us on Facebook, we post that news whenever it shows up that's uh, actually uh, the catalyst for the today and as well as the overall trend we're seeing develop here. So here's the news that was out. You're going to hear it everywhere else, but uh, some basic items you got to note. First off, China downgraded U.S. debt. That's important to note. Even though the U.S. doesn't recognize the rating agency as being as uh, stellar as Moody's or you know, S&P or, or Fitch, but uh, regardless, that's going to put pressure on the other agencies to say, wait a minute, they, they made a good call, they've made some valid points, why haven't we done it, so forth and so on. So that's important to note there. It's also important to note the missile that, or what appears to be a missile that was fired off of the, uh, uh, about 35 miles off the coast of California. You need to pay attention to that because if the U.S. says it wasn't theirs, then it was somebody else's, and that's important because it was really close to home. Uh, basically, the currency war could turn into more than just a currency war, it could turn into a war. So... Uh, that's, again, another catalyst to the downside. And last but not least, if you watched our video yesterday, you know about the fundamentals that we're watching here in the markets uh, for Europe, so forth and so on. That news hit big time today, uh, even though uh, uh, we had some people that actually didn't actually like our fundamental analysis. The truth is proven again. Okay, we just saw the news come out today and backed up everything we said. So uh, the main point I'm trying to draw out here is that catalysts are now in play. Expect them to grow, and uh, the markets will uh, not find any bullish uh, uh, catalyst to the upside, but in fact, bears will find plenty to the downside. So if you're a bull in this market and it's overextended and you don't have any reason to see it go higher, there's no catalyst behind you, uh, you're a sitting duck. Okay. So another thing to point out, we've talked about this before and we'll talk about it again. We're looking right, right now at the VIX. We're going to go over a lot of charts today, so uh, catch up. All right. You've got the VIX here, and we've been talking about this rally in the market from back in September. Okay, now this is the VIX. Whenever you're analyzing the markets, you can double check it against the VIX. The VIX runs the opposite of the overall market. So if you see a bullish sign in the VIX, you should see bearish signs in the overall markets and vice versa. Here you've got the VIX showing a bearish divergence. I mean, I'm sorry, a bullish divergence where you've got price actually trading lower, but slow stocks, low points here, here, and here, they're trending higher. All right. They're doing this because they're telling you it's getting more and more bullish on the VIX, which would be more and more bearish on the overall market. You will also notice, like I pointed out before, this happened back in September. The entire rally that you've seen through the entire thing of September is not confirmed by the VIX. It's telling you that it's bogus. We've always said the same thing. Go back and watch many videos you like that we've done. We've always maintained the same exact formula and told you the same thing every single time. Whenever you're wondering, is your analysis proper on the overall markets, double check it against the VIX. If it doesn't line up, it's false. So whenever your market's selling a big rally, and this is showing a bullish divergence being bearish for the overall market, you would actually say, wait a minute, that's a false rally. All right. Again, just because this is happening doesn't mean you just jump in. You want to wait for a particular signal, and that particular signal would be right there today. Okay. Nice bullish it for this particular chart, bullish reversal signal to the upside for the VIX. That's major bad news for the overall markets. So again, it's confirming the same things we've been showing you again and again and again. Okay, so there is our updated little blue, blue arrow there on the VIX. Okay, now let's look at the markets. Okay, let's start off looking at Canada. A bearish engulfing signal right here. You gapped up for the day and then sold off all day, taking back any possible gains of the previous day. Very bearish signal. It's a two-day combination kind of signal. That's a very uh, uh, bad signal. Again, note the high points here, the slow stotch, and here. Trending lower. Well, at the same time, price activity all right, is trending higher. This means that you have a bearish divergence. It doesn't tell you to look for more moves to the upside. It says look for all this to be erased, which you should look for that anyway because your RSI is extremely overbought above the 70 line. 
during this time period. So this would be bogus anyway. Also, you had a nice volume behind the sell-off today. So all the signs are, are the same, I'm telling you you're peaking. That makes sense. Okay, a quick look here at the NASDAQ. We got a little bit of volume today on the sell side. Uh, not a lot there. It can always increase, but that, that's, not, that's not a ton. Main thing to point out here is note the candlestick formation, the size of this one, this one, and the next one. Very small compared to today. It means volatility is increasing. Okay, whenever they're very small like that, and then they just get really large, that volatility is increasing. you also notice you filled part of the gap that's here. Right between this closing price, this candlestick's closing price, and the following open or the following low point, you've filled part of that, but not all of it. It's got to pull back lower just to fill this one gap. And again, I think you've got like 10 in play right here. So that's that's a lot of gaps below you, nothing above you. Uh, if you don't know anything about gaps, go back and watch Thursday's market analysis video uh, from last week. That's important. I think it's titled uh, "Am I Wrong?" or something like that. That'll show you some really good information regarding. A, series, a run like this when you've got lots of gaps in it. This would just be confirming that VIX basically telling you that this rally here is false. Whenever you see all those little gaps in it and you compare it to the VIX, you can see you're getting the same report no matter where you look. Is that This rally here is false and it's going to fail. Okay, a quick look here at the FTSE London Financial Times Index. This is the chart I watch whenever I'm focused on what's going on there over there in Europe. You can use other charts. This is the one I prefer to use. With the news coming out about Spain and Portugal and Greece and Ireland, so forth and so on. All those guys just gain. I think they've said that there's a, like 11 consecutive days where their, their uh, debt uh, premiums have just gotten higher and higher every single day for the last 11 days. That's important to note. Uh, you're fixing to topple over there. That's going to drive this guy down substantially. And just like you had last time before the flash crash, when Europe fell, so did the rest of the world. So there's a, that's really why you got to be watching that catalyst over there. It's very important and it is in play. It's being brought up on the news it's being played all over the place from Bloomberg etc etc so that's going to be what people are hearing they're going to start responding to that okay and it's important to note also you go back to the middle of September and see a very large uh, bearish divergence formation from the high points here lower highs okay and these guys are just trending down at the same time trending up here that means price activity is lying to you you want to pay attention to the momentum which is actually driving the prices higher they're faltering that's important because they're going to end up doing this number and this is going to follow it okay today's candlestick formation is clearly defined as a uh, shooting star formation so you can go ahead and stick a fork in that one as well good little place to add it's not all that much different from where I entered it last time back here but it's a little bit so we can go ahead and dollar cost average that makes sense to me Okay, quick look here at the Dow Jones Industrial Dow. She was down about 100 points intraday, then bounced back up a little bit. She only closed down about 60 points. Now, here's the thing that's going on right now. A lot of people are mistaking this for the breakout, a, a bullish situation that we talked about in Thursday's video of last week. It's drawing a lot of people to believe that higher highs mean bullish situation. That's not true. Uh, with you just pull back right here. People are thinking it's going to pull back a little bit and then shoot like this. Here's the problem with that theory. Uh, if that were the case, you'd be ignoring the RSI, which it's once it hits above the 70 lines, it's extremely overbought. That's what it's telling you on a short-term picture. So uh, when you got this condition right now, like you had back here, whenever you got that jump to the upside, you bumped way up into the over uh, overbought condition of the RSI 70 line. So uh, any move to the upside again there would only put you back in that same condition. So that's actually not a buying opportunity. You don't want to be a buyer of this market, as I've said before. I don't know how many different ways, but uh, you could definitely see a clearly defined pattern telling you the same thing over and over, and over again. Uh, don't be a buyer in this market. It's not safe. Okay, quick little note here. We crossed 3,400 subscribers on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for that support, you guys. I appreciate that. Uh, it helps us stay free, and that's really cool. We appreciate that. All right, let's look at the website real quick. Okay, here we are at the perfectstockler.com website, 100% free. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Uh, a bunch of videos in here. I'll be adding new videos in here as well. These videos are covering different technical analysis processes that you might use. Like I was, uh, do different ones every single night. I'll cover like comparing the VIX against the overall market or uh, the slow stock to the RSI or whatnot. Uh, there's, the lessons are all in here, so you can learn this stuff for yourself. Uh, nightly market analysis videos, you can click on that and watch every single video we do every single night for each individual night, search for them and whatnot. And you can also find the charts that I look at with my annotations on them, they're right there. Research, all kinds of good stuff there, US futures, etc., etc. Uh, pretty good stuff. MPT rating, this is where we tell you what we expect for the market the next day. If you're a day trader or if you're just wondering what we think the market's going to do the following day, check that out. It's pretty good. It analyzes the, the different 
pressures in the market to determine what they're leading the market to do the following day. So it's important to know. And in our traders form, very cool little feature there. Lots of smart investors and traders and they're posting different uh, theories, ideas, so forth and so on. Everybody's got one basic rule we live by there. It's be logical. I mean, back up your argument, whether it's a bullish or bearish position you're taking, just have a reason for it. You know, don't just randomly throw out uh, junk, but actually come up with some reason behind your, your uh, process there. That's all that matters, okay? Let's see, nightly scans right there. All right, you can go through and check out nightly scans there. You can find them based on whatever criteria you like, including uh, candlestick formations or uh, fundamentals or whatever. And then swing trading course right here is a pretty cool little feature for you as well. And at the very bottom, if you've heard us talk about Facebook and all that stuff, uh, when we ever post news articles or different things like that, you can click right here and follow us on Facebook, uh, MySpace, Twitter, YouTube, which are, okay? God bless. Take care. Have a quick look at our disclaimer, and I'll let you go for the night. The disclaimer, read it and weep. Okay, I'd like to seriously thank everybody for their support of this free service. We couldn't do it without you. It's quite cool. Someone brought to my attention last weekend that we are one of the most watched uh, videos every single night for our particular uh, topic. So that's pretty cool. Thank you very much for that support, guys. And I'll see you all in the next one.